Welcome to Magic Feather Production. I'm Sky Guy. Uh, my last video was about uh, making different types of ammunition uh, for my potato launcher. Because <laughs> anybody can shoot potatoes. Am I right? Uh, their potato launcher or potato pistol, whatever you want to call it. I also upgraded it <laughs> to make it less of a hassle. This is a PVC pipe with some wood stuck into the ends, and these are screws right here. So I don't have to use this square to take off the bottom part of the ignition. I can just use this as a handle. Wow, what did you think of that? <laughs> Perfect. So I was talking about harpoons and a harpoon gun that you can get from a uh, video game, Fallout. And um, I had a prototype. It was a long dowling rod, with fletches, and it had two prongs because it was just taped together. It was a metal, metal rod that was bent into a U. And it actually shot pretty well, and it was pretty dangerous to the dummy. <laughs> but I wanted to make it less uh, sucky and this is what I came up with. Ta-da! <laughs> it's the same thing, except what I did was I uh, shortened it, and then I stuck, um, I drilled a hole in here, in the dowling rod, and then I slid this little uh, metal piece into there, super glued it, gorilla glued, um, the spiral wrapping you're looking at right here is aluminum uh, wire, so it has a little, not a lot, but a little bit of, um, how you say, uh, heavyage weight distribution. <laughs> and you want this to be sharp as well. I didn't sharpen it completely, but it's dangerous enough. I made one, two, three, four, five. five. <laughs> <laughs> and only three of them can fit because the heads are just so fat. Uh, what I made them out of, here's one, was tiny little dowling rods. And yes, that's the aluminum wrapping right here. And these are just nails. See? It was pretty simple. See? Aluminum wrapping. There's a hole you drill in there. You stick it in there. Bam. And I want to see uh, how dangerous these can be. <laughs> I did already um, uh, shoot these to see if they came out right and they worked. A couple of them flew across the neighbor's house. <laughs> so I had to make more. <laughs> I didn't want to go over there. Let's test them out and see what they're capable of. Dense wood, so I highly doubt that this will be um, penetrable. It was so dense, I could not even uh, pick it up. I do not know what it's made out of. It's obviously not just made out of wood, even though it looks like wood. Let's see, oh, nice top. Too bad we have to ruin it. <laughs> so I think the problem with it is because the balance is balanced <laughs> with the huge arrow um, the reason why the other one worked was because it was top heavy so it had a long arc this is just kind of too even oh my gosh look it even bent yikes so if I put a little more um, weight on here instead of aluminum wrapping maybe some steel it will have an arc effect instead of a Let's try the darts. Mm, three, four, let's do four. I have a good feeling about four. No. <laughs> oh well. So you kind of get the point of um, the ammunition I'm using. <laughs> Uh, I might have to readjust and recabulate uh, some things, and I might need to get some new um, spray. <laughs> this is the reason why it's really weak, 
is because this stuff is out. And using hairspray is not that well. I'll give you a hint. Some of the hairspray doesn't have butane anymore. <laughs> and butane is a little more potent than whatever they're using in hairspray these days. So, the more you know. <laughs> Now let's see how far this goes. <sighs> I might need to readjust something. I was standing here. There's the cloth, the wet cloth. Make sure you dampen the cloth if you're going to use my method. Here are a few little darts, which I will throw to the dummy to show you that they actually work. And this is as far as this got. From there to there. It didn't have that much thrust. But hey, it went. <laughs> okay, it's dart time. So that was a little fun. <laughs> These were meant for the potato launcher though. I just need more uh, fuel. <laughs> but yes, you can make your very own darts that can be somewhat dangerous. If you don't want them to be dangerous, then just dole these down. It kind of went through a couple times. But it's so, it's so jelly-like, and that's not what our flesh looks like. And I'll show you why it doesn't, it reflects, reflects, <laughs> bounces, is because look. Look at that. Uh, uh, it's been sitting out in the sun for so long. That's why it's, it's like this. I should use ballistic gelatin or something like that. Because we're not made out of cardboard. <laughs> And we're not made out of this jelly silicone stuff. So that's my last video for now uh, about um, my potato launcher because I have to fix it and I have to fix the ammunition and I have to get better um, <laughs> combustion. Now I haven't made a video in a while about slingshots and homemade things except for this. This was homemade. <laughs> I think that'll be it for now. Thanks, Anne.